Shalom, Ko Halo Yom La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world inwardly calls God. His name means He exists in the Paleo Hebrew. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, whose name means He is salvation. Okay? Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who were well for teaching me the truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect. All right. Shalom laha bacharyum. All right. To you brothers out there in the four corners of the world, teaching and pushing the truth with all righteousness and sincerity. You know, shalom to you, uh, to you few sincere sisters as well, who buy yourselves to your Israelite husbands. And those of you looking for Israelite husbands, in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. To you, I say shalom. I'm going to just do this video real quick. You know, this, um, this, this really just came up through the spirit, man. You know, this is, um, really one of my favorite scriptures, man. You know, in the book of Ecclesiasticus called Sirach, chapter 43, and I'm going to just get to the point. Verse, verse 28, it says, how shall we be able to magnify him? For he is great above all his works. The Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous is his power. So this scripture and the reason why I love the scripture so much is because it gets to the point, man. Do you know, it says the Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous is his power because that's the spirit. That's the energy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's the that's the energy of 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 the most high and his son. You know, the Lord is terrible, man. You know, we we, we see the world as it is today. OK. You see the world that it, uh, as it is today, you know. You see all the all the death that's going on in the world, okay. You see all the miracles that's going on in the world today as well, man. You know, and all it's and it's all happening in the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, because the scriptures say, um, let me just go ahead and get this. All right, uh, confirming the um the uh, the duality. You know, as the elders, as the elder apostle Gabar made a video on, a beautiful video on, by the way, the duality of the heavenly father. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse seven. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. OK, so when the scriptures tell you, like, like, as I said in the book of Sirach, you know, uh, the Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous is his power. All right. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the heavenly father and the son has 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 has, has uh, a duality, man, the principle of duality. OK. The Lord creates, it says, I form the light and create darkness. So I, I, I do both, man. You know, like how these, how the nigga woman in the world say, oh, get you a nigga, I can do both, and yada, 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 or who can do all of these things, and yada, 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 so on and so forth. The Heavenly Father is 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 the, the energy that can do all things, man. Okay? And he's our power, man. He's our power. All right, the power of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He's our power, man. All right? So the Heavenly Father got us, man. He He has us. And in due time, in due season, we're going to be able to to, uh, to, uh, to do all of these things as well, man. To have control and have power over uh, the light and the darkness, man. I form the light and create darkness. And, and, and I'll tell you what, man. If you don't believe it, look at the book of Job. All right? The Heavenly Father sent Satan to, to tempt Job. To put Job through a uh, tribulation and anguish. You know, as a matter of fact, hold up. Tribulation. Tribulation, a cause of great trouble or suffering. A state of great trouble or, suff or, or uh, suffering. All right. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai put Job. Through all of those uh, situations to uh, uh, to um, increase his faith, man. All right. And that's, a, that's exactly why the scriptures, you know, 
emphasize and stress the importance of faith. Because without faith, it is impossible to please the Heavenly Father and the Son, man. All right? But we're going to go back to the book of Ecclesiasticus called Sirach, chapter 43. Give verse 21. It's like it. I was too far out. I'm going to give verse 29 again. It says, the Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous is his power. All right? The, the Lord is, he's terrifying and he's very great, man. All right? When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can, for even yet will he far exceed. So the Lord is always going to go beyond your expectations, man. You know? So what you might be hoping for, the Lord is going to do well beyond that, man. And proof of that, because we don't know, man. Because we don't know how far the Lord is going to go when it comes to our prayers, our faith, or whatever the case is. You know, King Solomon prayed for wisdom and judgment, okay, to, 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 to judge the people of Israel, which is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the Lord blessed them with so many things far beyond that, man. All right, let me get this in the book of um, Isaiah again, chapter 55. I think it's verse 11. Nah, I mean, I'm going to read that too through the spirit, man, but I'm going to start at, um, I'm going to start at verse eight because it, this is the point that I was getting to. It says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways, my ways, saith the Lord, Yahweh. All right. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways, my ways, saith the Lord. So we don't know the mind of the heavenly father, even Yahweh Shai, even Yahweh Shai. The son of the most, I don't know the mind of the, uh, the, the heavenly father, Yahweh. He is, he exists. Okay. Even his own son don't, don't know the, uh, his, his total mind. All right. Of, of the father, man. All right. And that's the spirit because this is like, we are the creation, man. You know, uh, uh, uh pursuant to the book of Romans, the ninth chapter, you know, in the um the uh the the twentieth verse, man, who art thou that replies against the Most High? We don't we don't reply against the Heavenly Father and the Son, man, because we don't know their minds, man. Because what the Scriptures say, Isaiah fifty five and eight: For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Yeah, so the 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 thoughts. The the uh, uh the actions of the heavenly Father are well above what we what we imagine our in our mind, man. You know, then the thoughts we have, man. Okay, the ways of the heavenly Father are well way well beyond us, man. You know, and there's so there, like there's countless proof throughout the scriptures because the apostle Paul, who was once called Saul, he was a murderer of the prophets, man. And Yahweh Shah came to him in a vision and, 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 and made him repent. He said, what? Why persecutest thou me, Saul? All right. But I'm not going to go into all of that. It just I'm just making a point that when you exalt the heavenly father and the son, you, you can't exalt them enough, man. You can never go far enough, man. Because the scriptures say our righteousness is unto filthy rags, man. Okay. Verse nine, it says, for as the heavens... For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down in the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. Okay, so hey, look, look. As, as all of these things are ordained in life, you know, as the rain comes down to, to the earth and make things grow. And things of that nature, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai has ordained all of that to happen. Okay? It says, for as the rain cometh down, and the snow cometh, Salaki, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. All right? So Yahweh Yahweh Shai, like I said earlier, has, has, has ordained all of these things to, to, to happen in the earth, how much more us? Because again, we are the creation, man. Verse 11, it says, So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. 
okay? Because that's how powerful the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is, man. Anything that the Lord says and delivers, you know, uh, verbally, all right, it's, it's going to be an action, man. There's gonna, there's always gonna be an action behind it because that's the nature of the heavenly Father, man. His word is bond. All right. But let's go back to the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. Let's go to verse thirty-one. Let's read verse thirty again. It says uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter forty-three, verse thirty. It says, "When ye glorify the Lord, exalt Him as much as ye can." For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. Yeah, you can never go far enough to uh, to, to, to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Let's look into that word exceed through the spirit, man. It says, be greater in number or size than a quantity, number, or other measurable thing go beyond what is allowed or stipulated by a set limit especially of one's authority so yeah you may think that you you know what i'm saying like yeah we we, we are spiritual man you know through the spirit and we, we pray that we continue to be spiritual man you know through the spirit of uh through the spirit of yahweh bashim yahweh shai through our elders and our apostles okay that the lord uh that the lord put the spirit on them to teach us you may believe that you, you know, you, you a spiritual man. Okay. You may think that you may think that you could do all things spiritual, but even the Lord will, 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 uh, uh, exceed your expectations, man. Whatever you pray for, man, the Lord will, will far exceed your expectations. So like you the video cut off, but the Lord will exceed your expectations, man. All right. So whatever, whatever you think. Whatever you think you need, the Lord can, can through the Spirit, give you much more, man. You know? I'm going to go back to the book of Sirach, and I'm going to close out through the Spirit, man. Verse 32. Uh, so like in verse 31, it says, Who have seen him, that he might tell us, and who can magnify him as he is? There are yet hid greater things than these be, for we have seen but a few of his works. So we've only seen a few of the works of the Heavenly Father, man. And there was this video that um that came out well that I seen that I seen recently, you know, I'll say this is is uh, that I seen recently, man. All right. Um, this this uh this Edomite explorer, this Edomite um uh, uh, uh oceanographer or whatever the however the terms is, man. This 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 you know marine biologist or whatever the hell he was, he discovered in in uh an underwater lake, man. He discovered an underwater lake, you know, and then uh, a few, I, I believe it was a few days or a few weeks later, he passed away. He died. You know, a brother or who I believe is, uh, to be as a brother, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my, my social media page. All right. He had, he had, uh, had posted it, you know. And there was no coincidence that this marine biologist had died. Okay, this oceanographer or whatever the case, there's no coincidence that he died after he discovered that underwater lake, man. Okay. Now, why that happened to him? Who knows, man? You know. But I'll, I'll, I'll say I'll say this: the, the heavenly Father, he, hey, th these are his works, man. And we've only seen but a few of his works. You know, the the strange looking animals, the strange looking people. You know, nature in itself. It says, who have seen him that he might tell us and who can magnify him as he is. Yeah, can't nobody tell us about, about the Most High, man, because we don't know his mind. We don't know him. We know his name. We know that he's the, uh, the, 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 um, the creator of the nation of Israel. We know that we're his, his favorite and his chosen and his peculiar people, but we don't know him. His enigmatic nature, uh, by reason of his enigmatic nature, verse 33 it says, for the Lord, Yahweh, have made all things into the godly, have he given wisdom. So he gave us wisdom, man, through the uh, through the, through the Holy Spirit, through Rechach Wadash, okay? Which is Holy Spirit in the Paleo Hebrew. And if you didn't know, now, uh, now you know, man, all right? 
Yahabashim Yahashah has blessed the, um, the, the, the elect and will bless the elect because, you know, not all the brothers have woken up yet. All right. Yahabashim Yahashah has blessed us with the, with the spirit of wisdom, man. Okay. So as, as, as much as we exalt the Lord on a daily, uh, on a daily basis, which we should be doing anyway, man. If you don't exalt the Lord on a daily basis, then there's something wrong with you. You know, we need to be exalting Yahweh Bashim Yahweh as much as we can on a daily basis, man. You know. But even that, even that, we're not gonna go uh, far enough, man. So like, I'm gonna get this one last scripture. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this one last scripture just to prove that. Isaiah 64 and 6, it says, but we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away, okay? Our iniquities have taken us away from the love of the Heavenly Father in the ancient world, but after Yahweh Shai came, okay, and he uh, he um became that, that perfect sacrifice for the nation of Israel to his father, all right. We have been reconciled with the heavenly father, man. But our our uh, our um unrighteousness have taken us away from from the love, the abundance of love and mercy of the heavenly father, man. All right. So even going out and, and prophesying, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's like that's that's our only reasonable service, man. I'll leave I'll leave it there. Our our. Our sacrifice to the Heavenly Father is going out on the highways and the hedges, as the scriptures say. Okay? That is our reasonable service, as the scriptures say, man. You know? And as it should be, because we don't got nothing else that we can give to the Lord, man. Aside from our bodies, we have nothing else to, to give to the Lord. And even that's not uh, uh, enough. We just hope. We just hope that, that it's enough, man. So with that being said, I'm going to say, call Halayim La, Yahabashim, Yahabashim, Rakhak, Badash, Shalom.